is still, and choose your words carefully. They will determine how long you live. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. You trespass in Dazra, the home of House Varun, and you disgrace it with every heretical step you take. I say again, who are you, and how did you find this place? But it was lost. All communication ceased. There was no sign of it. Indeed it did. The Oracle is perhaps the least of our problems, I'm afraid. Voris, I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps, in this time of need, the Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. We received the automated transmission. But you are certainly not who we expected to find. Great Serpent! What's happening again? Hear me! Speaker! We are here! We have reached out to you, to, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate in the Citadel has been opened just to seek you! Have I failed you? What is this place? Where am I? Why do you not show yourself? I strive only to follow your command. All must serve. Please, do not leave me in darkness. I seek only your wisdom, your guidance. Great servant, your children cry out to you. Will you not answer us? Our leader, Anasko Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms. But usually they are hostile and lash out. Anasko is different. If only we could hear his voice, some reassurance that all is not lost. Anasko Varun is our leader, the grandson of Jinan Varun himself. He sometimes appears to us, but we cannot interact. I am not able to go into detail. There was an experiment, an accident. Many of our people left in a similar state. While most are hostile, Anasko is... The Great Serpent spared him that fate. He's different. If only we could communicate with him. You... could hear him. Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasco in all this time, yet you claim to. Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? Serpent. The experiment was a secret, even to many of our own people. Truly, you did hear an Asko. You have been chosen. People of House Varun, hear me. We have asked the Great Serpent for deliverance from our calamity, and he has answered us. This outsider, 
has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the Great Serpent's divine provenance. And he will help save us all. Outsider, please. There is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, on that you have my word. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly. And it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? Well, efforts to do something, anything about our current dilemma have fallen to political infighting. I believe your arrival, if nothing else, represents a sign from the Great Serpent himself that we must finally put aside our differences and work together. It must be ordained that you would appear before us now, able to hear the speaker when no one else can. You must mean the Zealots. I assure you, they do not represent House Varun. We do not engage with the settled systems. They would attack us just as soon as you or anyone else. And they would certainly never extend an offer to join them, as I do now in this time of desperation. So, will you? We, the people of House Varun, are the promised. The Great Serpent has blessed us with knowledge of the future and our place in it. Our service to him guarantees us a place in the new worlds he will create when he returns to enshroud the universe. A greater gift could not be bestowed upon you. Excellent. Please, come with me. Forgive me for not introducing myself. I am Malibor Dulkef, a member of the High Council of House Varun. I have been asked to represent the Council in this moment. Please, enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I would ask that until you have become promised, you avoid the citizens of Dasra. They are not used to outsiders. Open the gate! I must tell you what I reveal for now, but surely you saw the scaled citadel as you arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts that has annihilated most of our city. We have lost many of our brothers and sisters. I believe we are still in danger. Is there a problem, Makula? The city is in shambles, the speaker is missing, uh, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Have faith, I believe this outsider was guided here by the great serpent himself. And soon, serpent willing, they will be one of us. But can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. There is a ritual intended for converts to the Promised that has not been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways and have remained prepared for such a moment as this.
was. I suspected we might find you here waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. Indeed you are. This is Inaza Kaisir, Herald of the Serpent. She will guide you through the ritual. I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. So, the Great Serpent sends you to me. Hmm. There is something about you. No husk that walk the serpent's path. To enter this sacred cave, there is no turning back. You will be forever changed. This is a path you must walk of your own free will, alone. Will you step forward and emerge anointed, one of the promised? A lesson, a test, a moment for the Great Serpent to reach out and feel you with something more than what you have been. Those born to House Faroon spend every day surrounded by our history. The rituals that separate us from the husks happen naturally over time. You have not experienced that. Those who have not answered the Serpent's call cannot coexist with House Faroon. And so, if you are to aid us in our time of need, you must become one of the promised. You have not been filled with purpose by the Great Serpent, so you are merely a husk. But perhaps not for long. Then enter, and I shall guide you along the Serpent's path. You must walk the path. I am merely here to guide you along your way. The path lies before you, but it is up to you to walk it. It has served more than one purpose for our people over the generations. For a brief time it was home, but then in his wisdom, Jinan Varun saw fit to turn it into a way for those outside House Varun to begin to learn, to join us in following the Great Serpent. That ended after the Serpent's Crusade. It feels right to see it used again now, in our time of need. The Serpent's path will tell you what you need to know for now. After that, the council awaits. After that, I will be at the temple as I always am. And I will offer counsel as I would to any of the promised. I am. I carry on the traditions that Jinan Varun began and maintain our people's connection to the Great Serpent. I, and others like me, look after the temples and offer guidance to those who need it. And now, it seems I am called upon to help the Serpent's Call fill a new vessel. Truly, I am blessed. A difficult question. 
The original converts were accepted in the years after House Varun first made contact with the settled systems. Once the Serpent's Crusade began, there were fears that anyone from the outside could be spies, infiltrators. And after the Crusade, few were eager to join. When Jinan Varun's son Jarek took power, we pulled back, rejected contact with non-believers. We removed any avenues for converts to find us. But there were those among us who hoped that one day we might help others see the light of the Great Serpent's teachings. And if we can survive our current situation, your presence here now might sway opinions on future converts. Farewell. First on Earth, then scattered among the stars. And like all humans, they were lost souls, wandering in the dark, looking for a path. One particular colony sheep housed several hundred of these souls. They were each alone and isolated. Individual tiny flames that could be snuffed out at a moment's notice. encountered a great serpent and was given the gift of knowledge. He shared his knowledge with those around him and lit the way for them. Followed his guidance and his light, and they cast aside the burdens of their former lives. And thus, House Varun was born. Now you too have the chance to cast aside your burdens, to relieve yourself of anything that holds you back. and fears and dreams were entrusted to the Great Serpent. 
They made the leap of faith that brought House Arun to greatness. You may now follow in their footsteps and take that same leap. Embrace the Great Serpent, and he will embrace you. It was here that he spread the word of the serpent. It was here that the people of House Varun first understood the truth of their place in the universe. And it was here that the people of House Varun first understood the truth of the shrouding. The Great Serpent's return. He will encircle the universe he created, and all those who do not follow will be cast into shadow. And the people weighed this knowledge against their former lives, and saw how they had been blessed despite the difficult new life that awaited them. You too would do well to feel that solace amidst the pain. Until that day comes, we are the voice and the hands of the Great Serpent. Our every act a sacrifice to hasten his return. Make now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. And remember, whether in life or in death, all must serve.
Let us begin the final ritual. While long since Jinan and the Roman have stood before the great serpent, we can all feel his presence. To solidify his bond, you are presented with a simple choice. Before you on this day are several items. They represent different aspects of House Baru's connection to the great serpent. Pick the two that call to you. Place them on the altars. Offer it to the great serpent that he may fill you with his spirit and make you promise. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. Did you feel the great serpent working within you? Do you feel born anew? Yes, your confidence is impressive. Through strength and perseverance, House Varun will triumph over all that stands in its way. I grant you the title of Vindicator. All will know you. All will trust you. Above us, in the Grand Ship Morning, Jewel of the Varun Fleet, the High Council awaits your arrival. Serve them. Serve the Great Serpent. All must serve. Good to see you. Welcome, Vindicator. You stand before what remains of the High Council, advisors to Anasco Varun. We are all that is left after the disaster that has befallen our people. I represent House Dulkef. Jamal is from House Kadik. We are joined by Lovek, a 
of House Vital. We are, all of us, hopeful that your arrival in Dazra and your clear connection to Anasko Varun, for the first time in weeks, represent some semblance of hope. Collectively, we unite under the banner of House Varun, pledged to follow Jinan Varun and his descendants. But our society is not a monolith. Jinan, in his wisdom, shepherded the first of us into families that we might grow and prosper. Our three families have for generations now helped to govern the people of House Varun and offer counsel to our leader. But you do. We have only seen brief glimpses of him since the incident. But you heard him speak. How can that be taken as anything other than providence? Please, just allow us a moment to explain. By all means, Malibor. I can't wait to see how you spin this. Can we just for a moment... Can we just for a moment what? Discuss whether or not to allow the first convert to House Barun since before any of us were born? A bit late on that, it seems. You were not there. You did not see Anasco. It felt different. We have already wasted so much time. You're correct. I was not there. Because you elected to travel to the spaceport on your own. And then decided this on your own. Do not waste time with more bickering. Anasco, and by extension House Varun, suffers with every passing moment. Of course, Lovek. My apologies. Please, Malibor, do go on. Anasco Varun, like his father before him, has relied on the teachings of Jinan to guide us. Anasco wondered if perhaps it was time to seek guidance directly from the Great Serpent. He so sought a means of reaching out. Perhaps he found the teachings inadequate. Careful, Kadik. You tread on dangerous ground. I mean nothing by it. We simply were never consulted on the matter and do not know the full motive. The point is that a series of experiments have taken place over the years, utilizing grav drive technology to hopefully make direct contact with the Great Serpent, similar to Jinan Varun's initial meeting. And then something went wrong. We do not know what happened. We were not inside the scaled citadel at the time. Had we been, we wouldn't be standing here now. We'd be like the rest of them. A great tide of energy emanated from the scaled citadel and swept across Dasra. Much was destroyed in its wake. Those caught in the blast have been left in a state of confusion, trapped halfway between our universe and the Vortex. The Citadel itself remains in such a state. Right there and... yet beyond our reach. We can only assume that the experiment is still running, somehow preventing us from entering the Citadel. We cannot get in, so we cannot stop it. We... We're beginning to lose hope before you arrived. It has only been a few weeks. There had been efforts to put together some kind of response, some plan. But they had fallen apart. Forgive me, I am no scientist. But as it has been explained to me, what we call the Vortex is the, uh, the space between universes. Your arrival and your interaction with Anasco shows that he can still be saved. A plan had been devised to access the Citadel, but the work stalled. Clearly. It is time to move forward with it. The current head of our science team, Ekris, should be in Jinan Plaza down below us, towards the Citadel. Tell him about your experience with Anasco, and that work on the morning device must proceed. May the Great Serpent bless you.
No, it's complicated. Jinan Barun himself established the rules. Let me see if I can make it easy for you. The speaker has supreme authority. He is the voice of the Great Serpent. The houses each handle some function of daily life and are individually run by the elder of the house. Each of the houses also appoints a mediator to the High Council to inform and advise the speaker. It's a separate position from the elder with a lesser degree of authority and prestige. Now is hardly the time to be entertaining such thoughts. Just so you know, it isn't wise to openly question Jinan Barun's decisions. You don't want to be accused of heresy. Don't take it personally. We have been through so much these last few weeks. The Council is attempting to claw back some semblance of order from the chaos, steer things past this somehow. And then Malibor goes and throws you into the middle of all this without even consulting us. It's just one more breach of a protocol that barely exists anymore. I am over it, I assure you. It is good to have you with us, and we are finally moving forward. All must serve. What may I do for you? I was outside the city, visiting a friend at his farm. We saw the flesh of light from inside, and by the time we made it outside... Uh, you know, in that moment, I worried it was my fault. That I had somehow not been faithful enough, that I had not believed. I still find myself worrying that we are being punished. That we have affronted the Great Serpent in some way. And that this is our penance. Indeed, Serac was my cousin. I know they were assigned to the Oracle, and Malabar relayed their final report sent by the station. They walk with the Great Serpent now. Serac was a respected scientist, dedicated to the Great Serpent. They spent every moment engrossed in their work, a true testament of faith. It was their greatest honor to be selected for the Oracle. The Oracle's fate would be tabled for a future discussion. We have more important issues at hand. Eighty-seven souls reside with the Great Serpent now. Many were some of the finest scientific minds House Varun had to offer. They will be remembered alongside those we lost here in Dasra. Of course. Oh, it was breathtaking. A true testament to the will of Jinan Varun and our faith in the Great Serpent. To have started from nothing and to have accomplished so much. I pray to the Serpent that we can someday reclaim all that we have lost. Do you know the scientists out at Hamadi Station? The old married couple? Uh, Azad and Shireen, if I remember right. I've met them a few times. They seemed a little eccentric, but were otherwise quite nice. That's them, yes. They're apparently looking for some help with their research. They made some kind of discovery that has them troubled. Good luck finding help at a time like this. Indeed. Yet the Serpent provides for the faithful, so who knows? Nothing is truly impossible.
Hmm? Yes. Well, look who it is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. To what do I owe the honor, Vindicator? At the moment, obviously a great deal of nothing. I have the High Council to thank for that. Politics and expedience rarely pair well. Did he now? Hmm. How magnanimous. But approval is approval, and I will gladly take it. I will spare you much of the technical detail, as I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around the scaled citadel. Until we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible to get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect gravdrive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Politics got in the way. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became... Negotiations. And so, construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. Serpent help us, it is infuriating. The Council just so happens to represent the three houses under Varun's banner, who are also entrusted with various aspects of running well, everything. Each of those houses needs to contribute something to the project, so the Council is the final stopgap. Were the Speaker here, he could bypass all of it with a wave of his hand, but... Well, you have already seen the state he's in. Indeed. All must serve. I believe I've done enough complaining for now. Time to get to work. If you're here, the Council has likely sent word to the Houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here, make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the Houses, that may speed up the process. The first convert in generations. The only one to have heard from the speaker since the disaster. Oh, I think they will listen. House Vetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the Speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the Serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. Yes, exactly. I am glad I am not the only one who can see that. Does nothing to make the loss any easier, but still. We have encountered several interesting phenomena, 
First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of Vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. Just look around! I'm sure you have at least some idea of how much we have physically lost. A huge portion of the city is just... gone. And those left behind are struggling. Supplies are limited, there is so much work to be done, and we are all just so tired. I hope that eventually we can return things to the way they were, but we must be realistic. That will take time, and... I suspect a great deal of it. Not enough to have prevented it from happening. If I had any idea it was going to turn out like this... I... It had been Inasco's primary goal for some time. A way to recreate Jinan Varun's encounter with the Great Serpent. Everything we knew about Grav Drive technology, every scientific advancement we'd made in the last hundred years was poured into it. Towards the end, <laughs> I was just so exhausted. I asked for a brief time off. Had I not, I would be trapped in there with the rest of the science team. Yes, I am sure that is how some would see it. I left the project weeks before the disaster, and at that point, we were nowhere near ready. Some breakthroughs were made shortly thereafter, and they ran the experiment. And here we are. <laughs> 